Why does compression seem to improve the fidelity of recording? I understand the basic idea of compression, increase low amplitude, decrease high amplitude to some normalized middle range. I especially understand how the effect enhances electric guitar to turn the normally fast decay into a slower decay and good sustain. But when compression is applied to a vocal signal, one where a notes are held and sung in the mid-range of dynamics, what is happening to the signal? If it's already sustained in mid-dynamic range, it would seem the compression doesn't have anything to change. Yet when I have recorded myself singing in the privacy of my home to save others the misery hearing me, the uncompressed sound was th and while the compressed sound was fuller. It's hard to describe the difference. Certainly just turning up the level on the uncompressed track did not sound like the compressed one. Even singing with a full, resonant voice, the uncompressed track had no presence, poor fidelity to what could be heard in the room. Compression made the track sound much more like what I could hear in the room. I also noticed the same thing when recording acoustic guitar with a microphone. Even close mixed, with playback level up the sound was thin and dead. Adding compression didn't really change the sustain of the acoustic guitar, but the sound brightened up and had presence. It sounded like what I heard in the room when playing. Somehow compression made the mic tracks sound much more like the room sound, but I don't know why. It's like the dry recording just lost lots audio detail and compression magically restored it. That seems different that just compressing amplitudes to some ideal middle range. In case it helps my mic is something like a Shure PGA48. I don't remember the exact brand and model, but it's shaped like that and the price was entry level. The compressor was a plug-in that came with PreSonus Studio One. I don't have the gear set up now, I didn't have space to keep it set up and so packed it away. I'm not absolutely certain, but the interface image below is what I remember. I don't remember how I set it, but changing the knobs changed the graph line, and I didn't know how to read the graph, so I probably left it at presets which may not be what is pictured. I wish I could be more specific, but I don't remember exactly what I did. More importantly to me, I mostly remember that just adding the effect did the job. I didn't need to mess about with the settings. Enter image description here. They don't always improve the quality or fidelity of audio. With the right parameters, or in many contexts, wrong parameters, compressors can completely change the dynamics of a performance, aka a good chunk of the performer's vision, and often the composers and producers and everyone else's but you vision too. Induce tremolo like artifacts. Induce distortion. Kill the attack. Alter the timbre, not always in an expected way. Maybe some distortion is fine in rock, but in a classical music context it might be considered bad fidelity or bad quality. Context here includes your subjective personal tastes, and the specific traditions or conventions each genre and listening setting has and expects. Same for the other stuff. The right parameters in the right context can make it sound more professional, or with more fidelity, but wrong parameters can make things sound awful just as easily. If you are not using presets, or a compressor designed for layman, it's not easy to make a compressor add to the performance. What's actually easy is to make the effect unnoticeable, or affect the audio in a negative way performance-wise and context-wise. If everything you throw into a compressor comes out sounding with more fidelity, one of two things is happening. Pure luck, coincidence that the initial parameters happen to shape that specific audio track into something you liked better than the dry version. You are using a compressor or preset designed from the start for your use case. What is happening to the signal? If it's already sustained in mid-dynamic range, it would seem the compression doesn't have anything to change. If the threshold isn't reached, nothing is happening to the signal. Not all compressors behave this linearly, so what's exactly happening depends on the compressor. If the signal is dancing around the threshold, and especially the voice where compression ratios are traditionally low, assuming a good singer, and some styles do highly compress vocals even if the singer is awesome, what you are hearing is just a little bit of compression, that can turn good dynamic control from the singer into awesome out of this world dynamic control, but this requires a mixing engineer that knows the tools. Yet when I have recorded myself singing in the privacy of my home to save others the misery hearing me, the uncompressed sound was thin while the compressed sound was fuller. It's hard to describe the difference. What compressor did you use? Some compressors do not act linearly over frequency, so they compress some frequencies more than others without the control of a multi-band compressor. Or perhaps you used a compressor with multi-band functionality. Even more linear compressors can sound different on different frequencies because of psychoacoustics. 
The point is, maybe you equalized the audio without knowing, perhaps making the lows more noticeable equalization or psychoacoustics can do this, making the sound less thin, but it's hard to know and analyze without knowing. The compressor you used, the settings, its behavior, the actual details of the audio you used, sustained stuff, transient stuff, etc. Exactly what you mean by thin. That's on the frequency side of things. On the amplitude side of things, unless you are a trained musician, your dynamic control is not on point. A compressor can mask that, making the voice more controlled. Why does it sound better, more professional? Coincidence, probably. Did you use a preset? Maybe the preset was tailored for guitar and voices. Did you not use a preset? Then maybe it was your knowledge on compressors. If you didn't use a preset and don't know much about compressors, then it most likely the initial patch of your compressor is not initialized to zero, but to something tailored for voice and guitar, which are very common things in music in general. But compressors can also make things sound awful. It's not just a box that you can connect stuff to and make things sound better. They tend to make things sound better because that's what they are designed to do. Performers with no control over dynamics sound amateur. Performers with high control over dynamics sound professional, assuming they have control over everything else. The compressor controls dynamics, so can take some care of that for you. It can also alter our perception of tone, again, even in single band compressors, but maybe you did use a multi-band compressor, making things sound brighter, darker, more mellow, thinner, etc.